Hey guys, so nothing really encapsulates the duality of what we deal with as Christians and you know how we are fighting our own flesh than Peter. Peter is the most passionate person that I think we read about in the whole entire Bible, and yet he messes it up so bad so many times. And here's the thing, in Luke 22, uh, Jesus is talking to him and says, um, you know, like Peter, or no, no, he says, Simon, Simon. So he's t saying Simon, right? We know that at this point that he should be Peter, but instead he's talking to Simon, right? He says, Simon, Simon, you know, uh, the, the devil desires to have you and to sift you like wheat. But I prayed for you, right? But once you've come back, strengthen your brothers. He's talking to Simon here. And then, you know, like Peter being Peter, you know, like coming back around, he said, look, I'm ready to go to death for you. I'm not going to deny you. Right, or I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Like you, you, I'm, I'm ready. And and Jesus says, Peter, Peter, you know, before the cock crows, you're gonna deny me three times. And so this duality that's going on here, Jesus is talking to almost two different people. He's talking to Simon, which is, you know, the the old man, right? This is the the one that's still falling for temptation, that's still, you know, living in fear, that's still having all of this problems, right? This is the old guy. And he's saying, look, the devil wants to have you, right? And because you're Simon, he, he's going to have you, right? Because, I mean, Jesus already knew. He said, hey, look, you know, like when you've come back, strengthen your brothers, right? So he already knew because he was talking to the old man, which still had more control than Peter. And whenever Peter came out, that boldness, right, and the, 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 sense, the sense of right, right, um, that didn't have the control, right, Jesus had to say, look, Peter, you're not in control, right? There's, a, there's the, the old man has more control than you do, Peter, and you're going to deny me because you're not strong enough yet. And I, don't, I, I look at this, and I look at Jesus, and I'm like, he's not upset. He's not mad. But he sees us for where we're at, right? He sees Peter right where he's at. He's saying, look, Simon has more control than Peter does. And so he talks to Simon and says that, you know, I'm praying for you, right? That you're going to convert more over to Peter. That you're going to become that rock that I've called out of you, right? But you're not there yet. And I don't know about you, but that should make you feel so much better. That God sees you where you're at. And he says, hey, look. You know, like you're not where you're supposed to be yet, but I've prayed for you. And as you allow your your other, your Peter, right, to become the, the strong one out of the Simon-Peter relationship, as you allow God to transform you, right, then you're going to come back stronger than ever. But it's not going to happen without you actually making choices, right? Because if you don't make... If you don't make choices, then the devil's going to sift you like wheat. So I just encourage you, make those choices, right? Push in. We, we have a dual personality inside of us. We have an old man that we need to put down, and that's a daily struggle. So you can do it. You can give more power over to the right, the one that God's calling you to be. Thanks for taking a minute.